guys welcome back to the channel so today I wanted to share with you guys my top 10 favorite planner items that I've gotten from Aliexpress you know if you see my previous videos I love a good dupe of course I also like the real thing but sometimes we just want to save a bit of money and the best place to go for that is Aliexpress so these are my favorite items you may have seen some of them on my channel before but there are a few new ones um, so if you guys don't want to watch the whole video and just want to know what the items are I will link everything down in the description below as well as the links to where you can get them on Aliexpress and I'll have the timestamp so that you can jump forward to that spot if you want to just check out that one item without further ado let's get right into it so the first thing that I wanted to show you guys were these page flags and specifically these ones You've probably seen on cloth and paper, they have these page flags that they call, I think they call them the spotlight page flags, but you can find these on AliExpress. And what I love about these on AliExpress is that they come in this neutral color palette because a lot of the times um, the things are like really colorful and bright and maybe that's not the minimalist aesthetic that you're kind of going for. But on AliExpress, they have this set in this colorway, right? And I don't know about you, but I love it. Everything is very neutral. It looks great. And what's awesome is they have these um, which kind of correspond to this kind of set. So the colors you'll see are the same, but it's in these um, standard page flags. And they have like these thinner ones, which I think are really cute if you're in um, smaller grid. You guys know that I love small grids. <laughs> and so these are perfect. They're also perfect for like Hobonichi. And they also have these in like the standard thicker size. And what you can use them for is like you could use this kind of almost like as a key. And for example, if red means something, you can write that title here. And then if you want to highlight a page or even a specific spot on your page with that color, you could just get one of these and use that same color. And then it's kind of like um, a coding system, right? And they're so inexpensive on AliExpress. Yeah, they take a little while to ship, but I mean, it's really, really worth it. Um, so these are amazing. Highly, highly recommend. They stick well. It's like that um, plasticky, mater plasticky material, so like you can't rip it and stuff. Um, so if you flip back and forth a lot, they don't get crinkled like regular paper. And yeah, so these are great. So the second item that I found on AliExpress are these Midori index clips. And I saw a bunch of people using these when I got into Hobonichi Weeks. I ended up getting the spring edition, even though, you know, I have the dupe. <laughs> but anyway, so I couldn't find these in Canada. Like this, a lot of products, it's just hard for me to find. I don't know if it's just me or what, but I couldn't find it. But they had the exact ones on AliExpress, which is amazing. So these aren't a dupe. They're actually the Midori um, index clips. And so they are a bit more expensive as in like they're the regular price. I think they're like $25 or something, but totally worth it because I could not find them literally anywhere. And you can see the Midori there. Um, and they work great and I use them in my Hobonichi Weeks. So highly recommend these if you guys are looking for them. They have them in this like uh, bronzy goldish color as well as the silver ones and you get eight pieces in a pack and I love them they're they're great they're perfect they're the exact Midori ones if you're looking for them especially anybody who's looking for them who are uh, located in Canada the next thing that we have here since we're talking about Hobonichi Weeks is this Hobonichi Weeks dupe and I already have a video on this so I'll link it um, over here in the cards if you guys haven't seen it so I'm not going to do a detailed flip but essentially this is a Hobonichi Weeks dupe it's the best dupe that I found on um, AliExpress and I've tried a couple I love the white paper I love that the layout's the exact same and best of all it's undated so you don't feel pressure to use all the pages again I don't want to go too far um detailed into this because I have a full video but this is literally like four dollars I think so I don't know get yours right now <laughs> that's that one okay the next thing that I got I actually got this recently and they are these index stickers so you know for notebooks or whatever on um, the side if you want to tab out the monthlies these are I don't know if this is the brand or if they're just inspired but it says Swatelier I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right but I'm pretty sure these are like you know you can get these type of stickers um, at a lot of shops and so I think that's who these are by I'm not sure but what I love about them is that they are so like minimal and it's just black and white there's a little bit of like foil on them and they're really cute really good quality 
Um, it comes with two sheets of them and I honestly like want to buy another set already because they're just so amazing, really inexpensive. I think they were like three dollars um, and they're perfect for your, you know, Hope and H Weeks, your notebooks, your TNs, even in your rings if you don't want to use like dividers. Um, these are great. So I feel like they're just so versatile and so inexpensive. So I love these. So the next thing that I have, I've shown these, I think a long time ago on my channel, but I use these constantly and I literally have like 20 rolls of these. They are just these dot stickers um, and they just come on a roll like this. They're not super see-through, but they're definitely like transparent. I'm sure you guys have seen these before. I think they sell them on Amazon now as well, but they're probably cheaper on AliExpress. They have loads of different colorways um, and some of them, and most of them, I guess I would say, are neutral so these two you could tell are slightly different but both very neutral so I love these and the great thing about these is like because there's so many in a roll and you can get so many rolls like you don't really worry about you know saving the stickers or running out or like you know especially when I'm changing planners every other day and I'm color coding like months or events or whatever Sometimes I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm like wasting a sticker, right? But when you have like all these rolls of these, you never worry about that and you kind of like never run out. <laughs> so these are amazing and highly recommend. Great quality. I literally use them on everything. They're so easy to pull out. And then the next thing that I have is actually in here and it's two items that are kind of similar, but for my TN lovers who want um, the zipper pouches, so B-Sides and Rarities makes that wax cloth zipper pouch and they have them on AliExpress. One um, company that makes them is Moterm, which most of you guys are probably familiar with, but I didn't actually get these from Moterm. I got them from another shop, I think called From The Non. Everything is linked below, of course, um, and I love it and uh, it doesn't cause any issues. Um, it fits well, the zipper is very smooth, and so I just put some cards and stuff in there. And it's great, the only thing I noticed, and I'm not sure if the Besides and Rarities ones does this, because I obviously don't have one, is that the zipper does sit a little bit higher than everything else. I don't mind because I have my pen loop there anyway, so it like doesn't bother this, well, kind of. Well, if you have this over your pen, it like doesn't really bother um, my string or bother me. So I don't mind. I don't know what the um, actual one is like. Maybe it's more flush, but that's the only thing I notice. And then this side is like the big pocket here and then the one here. And they also have this in like the standard size. So I have one of those as well. And in the standard one, it has like the three card pockets in the same way that the Besides and Rarities ones has. And I love that. Um, the colors are amazing. Like I love this green one matches like the green accent string on the camel and it's perfect. I really, really love it. And then the other thing that I got from AliExpress is uh, similar, it, but it's the PVC, like the plastic zipper pouch. And I really like these because you can, you know, use planner cards and kind of functional deco in here. And it's just really pretty. And I love it. It kind of allows you to add a bit of like minimalist decor, which is what I really like. Um, there's the little zipper pocket here. So kind of similar functions. You could put cards in, like proper cards in here or you could put deco in here. So I love these. These are again, are super inexpensive. They have them in Passport. They have them in Standard. Um, yeah, so these are perfect if you want those. Then the next thing that I have, I've shown these a long time ago. I think I have a video on it. I'll link it up here if um, I do. And these are Pilot Friction dupes. Now, if you, I love like the Friction Slim. That's my go-to pen and I use it for everything, but the ink does run out kind of quickly, I gotta say, um, especially if you use it every day, all day, every day. And so you can get this dupe from AliExpress. The ink does come out a little bit lighter, I would say, but I love this pen and I used it like all the time. And the great thing about this is you get literally like 8 million refills. Like, I'm not even kidding, you get a whole bag like that thick of refill so you never run out and it also comes with the eraser at the end so you can erase it it erases perfectly fine you literally cannot even tell the difference from like a friction besides that this writes slightly lighter I think um, but yeah so for anybody who wants to use a erasable pen but doesn't like the fact that the ink erases use this I mean the tip is a little bit 
thicker. So I prefer the 0.38 and this is definitely slightly thicker than that. Um, it says it is 0.382, but I feel like it writes out a little bit thicker. I don't know. Maybe that's just in my head, but anyways, these are amazing and it comes in black ink. Even though this has a blue top, it is black, which I love. And I think they might have the erasable in blue and red, but don't quote me on that. So those are great. So the next thing that I have is actually these stickers. And if you guys have watched my channel, you guys know I'm not that into deco. I don't usually use a lot of stickers, but I thought I'd just try these out because I think it came up in the recommended. And they're these, um, like the milky kind of stickers. Um, like they're not super transparent, but um, they're not clear either. Sorry, they're not transparent, but they're not matte either is what I mean. And as I was getting into like the TN rabbit hole and thinking about some deco and like some doing memory planning in there, I kind of wanted like some kind of vibe, this kind of vibe of stickers, especially like this one with like, you know, some travel elements. Um, and so when I received these, I used a couple of the greenery ones and I really, really like them. They're easy to use. Um, they're easy to stick on. I like the milky kind of background. Um, but yeah, and super inexpensive. Again, they have a lot of options. These are just two of the ones that I chose. Um, but yeah, a lot of great minimalist options, I would say. Not minimalist is probably not the right word, but you know what I mean, like this kind of like more adult style stickers. And yeah, love those. So the next thing is something that I um, have shown before on my Instagram, if you're not following me there, and I do have a video on this as well, um, I'll link it in the cards, is my Perry Page printer. And you can get these on um, AliExpress. I'll link the one with the better quality, like there's two different versions, one with 301 DPI and one with 200 and something. I would recommend the 301, it's definitely better, it prints more clear. And yeah, it's an amazing little printer. It's a thermal printer, so you don't need ink. Um, you just buy the rolls and the rolls of sticker paper or regular paper or whatever. It's really inexpensive. And I love this for memory keeping. Um, or if you want to type out things or print little like design pictures or whatever, you could do it from here. One thing is it doesn't print in color, which kind of sucks. But it's amazing for lists. If you take a picture of a list or whatever, you could print it through there. If you could write your list on here through the app and print it out, and it's amazing. The one thing that I didn't know when I had done the review on it um, back in the day is I, I don't know if they added these subsequently or I just didn't play with it enough. But if you go into the emoji section, there's like literally a million types of emojis. And I was like in the process of printing them all out and I only got this far, but there's way more than this. And what you can do is print these out and resize them however you want. Like you can make them big or small and you can cut them out and use them as stickers. Cause I just have like the sticker paper on in the roll. So it prints it out on the sticker paper and you can use it as stickers. I just did it this way with lots of them to show, like to remind myself of what's in each of the sections. And then what I want to do is then if I ever want a sticker in that style, I can just go in and print it out. Isn't that amazing? So you can see more details of how it works um, in the video linked there. So it's amazing. Love it. Highly recommend. Very worth it. And then the last two items I've shown in um, a couple videos before, I just wanted to talk about them again because they are some of my faves. So I showed you guys the uh, Hobonichi Weeks one earlier. That one does not have like the Tomoe River style paper, like really thin paper. But again, I still love that one because of um, the layout and just the color of the paper. It's still good quality paper, but it's not Tomoe River paper. But the Hobonichi, I guess they call these the Techos, but this is the A6 and this was the A5, but I just recently cut it down to standard TN size. Um, these are, again, amazing dupes for the cousin. Reminder that, if you haven't seen the video, I mean, I'll link it up here, but the A5, um, the daily ones is just dailies. It doesn't have the weeklies. It has monthlies and dailies. And then they also have a version that has just like the vertical weeklies, but no dailies. Um, but these, I love these because the layout is great, but also it has the thin Tomoe like river, Tomoe like, <gasps> Tomoe river like paper. It's a little bit thicker than the Tomoe river paper, but I love these. Um, and yeah, some of my favorites still. Pen test wise, I think the paper reacts pretty similarly to the Tomoe river paper one. I am not a pen expert, so don't quote me on that, but, um, 
yeah, I feel like based on, you know, the a couple of pens that I have, it reacts very similarly. And I love that it's white. Oh, like, I, I don't know. I don't love the cream paper. I know it's better for your eyes or whatever, but I just love this type of paper. And these are amazing, amazing dupes. I cannot rave about them enough. Um, but yeah, so those are my top 10 favorite favorite planner items so that's all i have for today guys if you guys like this video please let me know down below so i can make more of these for you if there are any aliexpress dupes that you guys love please let me know i'd love to try them out and thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time thanks bye